What do you think? Where do you, where do you want to start? This, my friends, is Rampage. He was just a little kid. My name's Kyle Straight. He won in 2004. Kyle Straight, here we go. Kyle Straight becomes the first two-time winner at Rampage. It's super rad how far mountain biking has come from the perspective of most people who were thinking you either did trials or you were, were the spandex. My first trip was the very first rampage. I had no idea what it was going to be like. My pops drove me out there middle of the night and woke up in the morning and was like, whoa, cliffs everywhere. And I never seen anything like that. I didn't know if I could do drops or anything like that. I was 14 and just kind of went out here to see what I could do. Watched a lot of the pros. I mean, I watched Robbie Borden. A couple other dudes like Moss Rockwell. Um, I watched those guys ride it and I was like, okay, it doesn't look too bad. Like you know, all of a sudden I walked up and did the first drop on the main ridge in 2001. And I was like, all right, well, I can do it. So let's let's see what I can get up to then. It's been a long process and, and uh, a lot of fun. This is like the Coliseum, like the final corral of the first rampage zone. It's it's uh, in the years from 2001 to 2004. And finishing the finals, this was where you were. You were either coming down this zone. I mean, there's the old school Robbie Borden gap there where he almost fell off the cliff. One of the homies saved him. And I mean, it's, it's endless throughout the, the four years it was here. I mean, the bender center, the man size gap was there. I mean, there was Kinred's toilet bowl, double drop, and so on there. And then there's Cedric gap off the corner of there. And then Watson ended up sucking in, basically stopping, up in the soft stop on the top, and landed on that rock pile, that white rock there. How many stories there were and how many things went down in this, just what you can see here, just a zone. So, I mean, let's, let's keep walking and keep going. This would be the gigantic landing of I mean, many things. Um, Bender base jumping off the landing on the corner there. Um, my winning run uh, from 2004 Rampage. I mean, this is, you are standing right on the land right here. So, so after Bender jumped it and, and kind of, you know, had to jump off and so on. I saw it, I was like, okay. Well, it looks like you can definitely do it. I mean, if you can jump off and not landing on his bike, I figured I'd be good to go. And in first place, ladies and gentlemen, Kyle Strait. Yeah. 2004, it was the last year at this zone. Everybody felt the same thing. They're like, what is ever going to happen? Like, people are doing tricks at Rampage. They're doing these massive gaps. Like, it's never, it's not going to stop. It's too dangerous. You know, we took a little hiatus and came back and ended up moving it to a new site that, that no one had ever been to, including myself. And you can actually see it directly, basically, over my shoulder. It's one of those ridges over there. From the first venue to the second venue, things were very different. It had a big change in, in the way you'd ride. You weren't just riding ridge lines anymore. You were building more and more features and, and gaps and things connecting through. So we went from kind of knowing exactly what every single ridge into almost no man's land. Fifth year was the, uh, the year that Seminuk won. He showed with uh, that year that they won a Fluidity and uh, tricks and big airs. Six year was the first year of the Oakley Icon Center. I mean, that thing was massive, and and you know you had some crazy stuff go down. I mean, Instead of the top, like contest doesn't happen. Oh, it's happening. Aaron Zink is next. All right, back to the top, Cameron Zink. Zink on court. There he is, Brad. We saw what he tried last time. basically the three around the world that everybody knew about. So um, I think that was when we officially started becoming like real athletes in a lot of people's eyes. Together, together. Yeah. 
That's going back history right there. Seventh year was rad. That was the year Sorgi won, and... Being Rampage champion is a dream. That was the year that there was a lot of other riders that started actually flipping down drops. So that was kind of one of the main, main getters out there. I mean, learning from Sorgi's run, you needed fluidity, you needed style, you needed big trips and drops. So I kind of took that myself and, and adapted that and brought it into my own line into Rampage with the, the Mega Mega Drop and was victorious with that. Use the base of the, the plot of, of what's been going on the past couple years and, and uh, adapted to it and, and made it my own. I think he's the most naturally talented mountain biker ever, the youngest competitor ever, the youngest person to win it, and then the first person to win it twice, almost 10 years later. That's a pretty heavy career. Standing on the very, very top right now of the old site and the new site. Right here, this one's retired. As you can see, it's all lined out and there's highways everywhere and it had a good four year run. And now we're gonna turn around and we're gonna check out this whole zone over here and, and this will be the new home for Rampage. From the second venue to the third venue was a kind of a little bit easier, almost needed change. You know, we've learned so much from the past four years at the second venue that we knew exactly how to dig and what we needed to do and what it took to make trails and gaps and so on. So, I mean, it was kind of almost one of the easiest moves we've had so far. Rampage has changed the sport of mountain biking. It's shown a lot of riders in general what is possible on a bike, from drops to speed to how steep you can even ride down a hill. Nowadays, with Rampage being so big and progressing so much with mountain biking that you're the guy that does the cliffs in Utah or you're the guy that wears the spandex. So, I mean, it's rad to be able to be part of building a whole generation of new mountain bikers. Mm -hmm.